morning and to thank the rest of you for taking your Saturday to, to be here and realizing that Christian education is important. And um, we have refreshments. Uh, you're welcome to them. And Brother Jimmy's going to lead us in a prayer, and then I'm going to present to some and introduce the others. This is the Carrie Clay Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we first come and we give you thanks, Father. Thank you for all that you have done, Father God. We thank you for what you have placed in each individual heart here today, Father God. But before we petition you for anything, I ask that you would cleanse our sins, Father God. Forgive us for anything that we have said, spoken or unspoken, that takes us away from you, that makes us miss the mark, Father God. Now, Lord, we ask that your spirit would be here, Father God, that your spirit would guide this meeting, Father God. Father God, that we discuss only things that would edify you, that our children may be brought up right, Father God. We ask that you pour a special blessing out on the instructor that has came today to teach us, Father God. We ask that we would have hearing ears, Father God. But most of all, Father God, we ask that we may all that we learn and hear today, that we be able to apply it to our children, Father God, that they may live a godly life, Father God. We just thank you for Sister Trish and the things that she's trying to do, Father God. We thank you for each and every individual that's here, Father God. We pray for those who said they were coming that have not, Lord. We hope that they would take this serious and find out, Father God, that this is truly a, 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 a strong task that we must accomplish, Father God. There is no room for failure, Father God. Because our children's lives are at stake, Father God, and most important, their souls, Father God. So we just pray to you, Father God, for strength, guidance, and everything that we may need, that this may blossom, Father God, that we may grow up a community of strong, faithful believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, Father God, and it's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Well, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's good to see each and every one of you. Um, some of you I know. Some of you I know very, very well. Some of you I may not know. Uh, my name is Carrie Claybrooks, and I was asked today to come and to share some things with you um, for Children's Church. And so, um, before we get started, one of the things I always like to do is to have some kind of activity where we can get up, we can kind of break the ice. Uh, we let our nerves die down so we can just be ready to receive whatever it is that God has for us today. Um, so I want everyone to stand up. If you can stand behind your chair. <coughs> has anyone ever done the left-right game before? No. No. Then it's off. Okay. All right. Well, let me explain to you what we're going to do. This right here is a gift in this box. And what you're going to do is, since we're kind of around in a circle oval, um, we'll start right here. Would you tell me your name? I'm sorry. Latanya. Latanya. Bernita. Sister Trish. Janice. Brother Jimmy. Yes. And Sister Candy. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to start right here, and I will give her this box. I'm going to read a story to you. And every time you hear the word right, you're going to pass it one time to your right. Okay? So if you have the box, and I say right, you'll pass it one time and hold it. If you hear the word left, you'll pass it one time to the left. Okay? Now, you're going to hear right and left a lot in this story, so I want you to really, really listen. If you happen to be holding this box at the end, then you get the box. Okay? All right, so I'm going to start right here with you. All right, here we go. This is a story about Mr. and Mrs. Wright. One evening, they were baking cookies. Mrs. Wright called from the kitchen. Oh, no, there is no flour left. You will need to go to the store. I can't believe you forgot to check the pantry, grumbled Mr. Wright. You never get anything right. Don't be difficult, dear, replied Mrs. Wright. It will only take 20 minutes if you come right back. Go to 51st and Peoria and then turn left at the stop sign. Then go to 61st Street and turn right, and there it will be on your left, declared Mrs. Wright. <laughs> right. All right, there we go. <laughs> Mr. Wright found there you go. Found the store and asked the clerk where he could find the flower. The clerk pointed and said, Go to aisle four and turn left. The flour and sugar will be on your left. Mr. Wright made his purchase and walked right out the door. <laughs> he turned left. <laughs> But he couldn't remember where he had left his car. Suddenly, he remembered that he had driven Mrs. Wright's car. 
and that his car was in the driveway right at home where he had left it. <laughs> Eventually, a weary Mr. Wright <laughs> found his way home. Mrs. Wright had been waiting impatiently. I thought you would be right back, she said. I left all the cookie ingredients on the kitchen counter and the cats got into the milk. You'll just have to go right out again. Mr. Wright sighed. He had no energy left. I'm going right to bed, he said. Anyway, I need to go on a diet, so I might as well start right now. Jimmy! Right? <laughs> oh, there was one more. Oh, it's one more? Isn't that right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God.